water is 60% of your body, but the next several minutes will be 100% amazing. Join us as we uncover the health, environmental, and social problems of H2O. Welcome to Operation Water, where we as a group of student scientists are on a mission to teach DC about water. In this week's episode, we discuss boating and how it affects the surrounding ecosystems. I went out into the field to discuss more about this. Hey guys, Tim Spiegler, and today we're going to talk about boating here on Operation Water. So let's get started. What's happening is that as boats move through the water, they're creating waves. The bigger the boat, the bigger the wave. And as these waves crash up against the shore, they're causing more erosion than would happen naturally. Both the force of these waves and the sediments that are going into the water from the eroded materials can cause damage to the ecosystems. So what does this mean? Well, the force of the waves that are being created by the boats that are in the rivers can harm plants that are on the outside as well as make it so that the soil can't bear new plants. The force of these waves can destroy the nests that fish live in as well as disturb the local waterfowl. Sediments that are getting put into the water due to the increased erosion can make it so that less light reaches the bottom, which can kill off plants that exist under there, as well as disturb the feeding of species like plankton. And the sediments can disrupt fish respiration due to them sucking them in while they're trying to breathe. It's important to remember that this is all just one part of the story, so before you make your opinion, do your own research. But that's the end of this episode, so until next time, we'll see you here on Operation Water. Welcome back. Today we're going to play an environmental game. Joining me today are contestants for a show that I like to call Fact or False. How this works is I'll read off the questions related to today's topic of voting, and the contestants will have to be the first to raise their markers to answer this question. Remember, the answer to all these questions are Fact or False. You will receive 100 points for each correct answer you give, and the player with the highest score at the end of the series of questions will be declared our winner. So, joining me today are Adrian, Danny, and of course, the Water Boy. So, without further delay, let's move on to the game, shall we? Question 1. The majority of shoreline erosion is attributed to recreational boating. Water Boy. Nope, sorry, question is not Jay whatever. Danny. Uh, that's fact, Tim. That is indeed a fact. Yes. Okay, on to question two. A shoreline made of sand will actually erode slower than one made of clay. Adrian. I would say that that is false. That is indeed false. It will go faster. Nice. <laughs> nice. Question three. Toxic effects on fish have been observed near boating test facilities. Danny. Fact, Tim. That's fact. That is indeed a fact. Another 100 points to Danny. Thank you. Okay. Question four. Jet skis have little effect on bird life. Adrian. I would say that's false. That is indeed false. It can affect the nesting of water birds. Okay. What were you just Question five, the penultimate question. Boat waves can reach a height of 15 to 20 inches, which is an equivalent to a storm-induced wave. Water boy. It's nice to know that about you, water boy, but it does not answer my question. Adrian. I would say that is false. Nope, that is a fact. <sighs> no points on that question, and we go into our final question. Jet skis can be a bigger concern due to noise. Adrian. I would say that is fact. That is a fact because of the higher speed, frequency no. of stopping and starting, and all of the turns. No. It is a higher risk, and our winner of today's show is Adrian no. with 300 points. Say what? I went to I'd Dartmouth like to, But I would like to thank all of our contestants. You all did a great job. And I would like to thank you for playing. So, 
As the tide leaves the shore, it's time for us to part, and we'll see you next week on Operation Water.